I got cancer last but not least. I'm actually really glad that we're doing this one last. It is like the most beautiful day out in September. Virgo season is such a fucking gem. I'm so happy and grateful for it. <laughs> I think you're probably f grateful for the Virgos in your life in a different way, perhaps. <laughs> so we have here this complete change of heart um, within the structure in which you were raised in or born into or developed in um, and I don't mean that it has to look like the like a structure and when you think about structure it's like you had this this and this it could just look like your dynamic what you the dynamics and that made up the structures of your life and how uncomfortable it could have been and how uncomfortable you may be feeling now because of it Virgo season's amazing but it also can really bring one back to the past or back to um, times in your life through your body and whatever is being possibly triggered through the, there depending on how you decide to move it what your habits you are what routines you're in all of that kind of stuff so it's going to shake that up a little bit because and you've probably been feeling this way ever since probably may and maybe even last year it's this has been a constant theme for you and it might wrap up uh towards the end of november but this is this is going to be a constant theme for the next couple months um if you really pay an acute amount of attention to yourself and it all has to do possibly with something that did break your heart um, or hurt you in a way that it, it struck you so deeply. And you knew the whole time that you're the only one who can, you know, take it out. And because you're able to see this in a way where you're like, as if you were doing one of your passion projects that turns into this, like, uh... <laughs> money making machine by accident just because you're pouring yourself and it's pouring into you and it's this thing it's this creation that's healing you so whatever you're doing in your life that I'm like that you feel like is an equal amount of you know that I always say this to you this always reminds me this saying always reminds me of you guys but I say I've said this to quite a few different signs as well but it's that creation that's that tired part of creating like you are so tired but you still want to keep going because you feel so good and at the end of the day it's like this accomplished exhaustion that you know there's so much more to come but it's just like you've done so much of the heavy lifting so much of what needed to be done and now you're realizing how much you can do and if you give yourself each moment and realize like your body's calling for rest in this moment not this one in particular, good, you may actually feel tired whenever I'm, whenever you're deciding to listen to this, um, and the crazy part about it is that when you give it to yourself in that moment, you actually give yourself more energy in the long run because you're not fighting, you're not, like, going back and forth in your brain, right, and because that, may have confused you about what it means to be successful or what it means for you to um, look successful, whatever that means to you and your life or whatever, again, you're breaking away from um, through maybe family or traditional structures. Even you may even be thinking about marriage in a different way and what that means to you. There's this overhaul, but it comes from a place of what really makes you overflow and what how you bring this energy into your life I see you guys like really just doing all these powerful impactful steps in your life and addressing certain things at this point that you whether it's Virgo season or a Virgo in your life that's almost making you come to terms it's not an ultimatum but it kind of is if this dynamic's going to continue to exist you know, it's like, they're like, you don't have to finish this. It's like, you know, <laughs> if you ever watch Cribs, it's like, or if you ever heard someone say like, you, you, you don't have to go home, but you got to get out of here. It's like being at the bar too late or the party too late. You know, what I, you, you know what I mean? So it's like, you're finally being cut off from that. And what you find from that, even though it can be hard, what you find is the confidence, the power and things that you didn't, and you can't protect. I actually talked to Capricorn a little bit about this and I didn't even realize it's like, very somewhat similar so you might want to check their video out 
what reveals to you is this part of yourself that you've been looking for. I mean, I've wanted to admit it because you're not someone to want to look for things yet. You are great at being a detective if you want to be. But without looking at these parts of yourself, how could you see them outside of yourself? That's not your, that's not, that may be Virgo, which is why you're seeing it now, but it's not you to necessarily do that. So you're finding a growth in that part of your life and that part of yourself, even your intuition, you're like, holy shit, it's like something's happening. Like you like feel something or something comes to you and then all of a sudden it happens. It's like you're living in real time deja vu, like it's backwards almost. And what you can't protect anymore about how your thought process is and your, um, what's that called? Your intellectual property. You're just, because you've cleared so much up here and because you're clearing so much up here, so much is going to come to you in your mind real quick. So you're like, that's why you need to be focused because whatever is keeping, is un making you unfocused when the lens and the camera isn't focused, it's blurry. Whatever has been blurring your vision at this moment, um, that's why it needs to be addressed and that's why it came up front and centered this season and why it probably felt slow up until this point. What it's like giving you is this realization of how stubborn you can be, especially coming from last season. But here you can also see that something promising is coming in because of that stubbornness. Sometimes it's a good thing. And when Mercury is in Libra, it can show you that as well. You're very fixed on something certain and some someone specific, um, a better opportunity for you and for the strength that you carry and for what you bring to the table. This can also be someone promising you a lot, especially security. There's a different type of security that's coming to you now. Maybe through the situation you found the security, which again gives you more energy and to blow past any situation that feels like you're rehashing it over and over. Like you're giving it the time it, it needs and that's it. Get it? You're giving it the time it needs. So no need to overkill because the type of clarity that comes from this is very significant to what your capacity, to, your bandwidth is as well, everything. You just have the strength to say, no, nah, I'm not gonna engage in that, especially when you feel more anxious or more, if you do feel anxious ever or uncertain or like you have to make a rash decision uh remember that you hold the sword this month cardinal water you have some rain <laughs> uh and what you find is that you don't need to manipulate anything or anyone or yourself into making something amazing because it comes to you quite brilliantly and you might realize that you've been deceiving yourself when you think you have this kind of control you don't and you see now where you can actually benefit yourself from seeing the things that was, you know, more slow to see or seeing the people or situations that held you, made you felt, feel more like you're attached to them, like you need to be attached to them, like you can't do anything without them or you'll be stuck without them. All of that nonsense that's wrapped up in this place is just kind of leading you back to realizing that you decide and through all of this that's coming out you still get to decide and that's easy like that's an easy enough thing to say to a cancer because when you look at your life and realize you do have some sort of control you want it you're not afraid to speak up about it you're not afraid to decide that you're not afraid to commit and move forward nor you're afraid to celebrate and be happy about it but if something is more illegal or something that you put so much of your energy and intellectual property into this month you might feel extra disappointed if you don't learn to detach properly you know like celebrate your fruits but don't be attached to them even though they're growing in a quite significant amount especially with mars and gemini it's allowing you to find words even if you're over communicating at this point um with your intimate life the people in your intimate life it's more important to than not notice who gets annoyed notice who doesn't notice what keeps you going notice how 
fast once you like really get a hold of that understanding that what comes out is only for your good this month you quickly come up and out and you have so much more spiritual um so much of a more spiritual experience it feels more spiritual it feels so well-rounded it feels like it's been set in stone and it comes so clearly and it comes through you so clearly and you're able to receive that you're able to see and even visualize or feel whatever your way of processing and doing because I know some people can't visualize but see if you can be open to it if you haven't been able to before be open to that possibility because there's something that is coming into your conscious awareness there's something that's really healing you this month in a very deep way and although you may not completely feel different or understand you just feel grateful and you also feel the la a lack of competitive you might not that might just be like a a tip because you're so used to feeling competed with that you feel less attached to that competition and more fortunate and more grateful and you know your position so if you know your position then why even fight about it in your mind or your spirit spirit says like you know we're all each in the same place it just looks different for everybody and it's your ability to continue to realize yourself the best that you can you're able to convey that to yourself receive that and understand that it's all it's all here for you and it's balancing out karma it's your it's a duty it's our duty i believe like it's our duty to be balanced out our own karma when we see it and if we continuously see things that happen over and over again it's up to us to you know decide over and over again how we handle things because then you might have to handle things certain things in your life differently you might be forced to even and with that comes an, a maybe more abrupt especially emotionally um ob and very obvious situation that's outside of yourself perhaps that you're seeing almost metaphorically for whoever is in your life like something very like it's like ripping off a band-aid opens you up you already knew this but to like feel it experience it, see it right in front of you you realize what can happen when people say too stubborn or to to their ego and to parts of them that you know you would see you would think that they were values or ego but they're not and you see what it's like to not accept that side of yourself because if you did it wouldn't you wouldn't be against odds they wouldn't be against like at, at, or sorry at odds with each other and against each other they'd be easily, this wouldn't be holding them together, you know, because you get held together by those dynamics, whether how, whether there is physical or a physical distance, because that energy is still holding on, especially when there's a lack of acceptance. And what you're realizing is that you must be this person who is able to receive that as someone who's more mature, but also handle it in a way where it's like, a little like you would when you were younger because that actually feels like what you're supposed to do it feels like that's what makes you feel like in your inner worth and these situations or this 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 situation or this person people it could be also fighting for your attention but it's also spreading you thin and that's not what you're here for anymore it's not what you're looking for that's not what you're interested in because this is balancing out it might take certain things out of your life or put this put it at a distance because it's putting it into a different perspective and that's kind of what's going on here and again you might need to settle some things in a more easeful way because there are some answers people want that you don't have and you're just like i want to enjoy this season you know for what it is and it's almost like they're not letting you enjoy it and you're just like i'm going to and that's the way you handle it all right we'll see you next month